Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Well, drones are used these days for a lot of things, including in warfare. Yeah, photojournalists Nick Kiefer and Gwen Bevel introduce us to a Peabody graduate who worked on a helicopter program that dates back long before drones. Jim Baker signed up for the Navy with some high school buddies. He spent two years in and decided not to reenlist so he didn't have to go to Vietnam. He ended up right on the front lines with his toolbox. Look at all the companies it took to maintain our freedom today. Jim Baker can tell you quite a bit about these Army patches that date back to World War II. Anything military, you know, was, is interesting to me. He especially loves military history, and he's part of it. It was an experimental program, basically, in 66. Vietnam was also the first time one was used in military service. This is the DASH helicopter. DASH stands for Drone Anti-Submarine Helicopter, and it was a predecessor of the modern-day drone. Unplug the cord and fly it off by remote control. The DASH had about a 200-mile radius and was armed with torpedoes and a flotation device in case it went down. The floater never worked <laughs> down to the bottom. The helicopters were flying on and off a destroyer, and Baker and the other sailors spent 37 days straight on board at sea. We were called out from Norfolk along with other ships to search for it. They were hunting for the Scorpion, a nuclear submarine that vanished. Never found hiding or hair of it. When Baker finished his time in the Navy, they wanted him to reenlist to go to Vietnam. Go over there and do 90 days of offshore artillery. So said, nah, I don't believe I want to. So he went back to work for Boeing, but was laid off. There's an ad in the paper, a company called Lear Sigler. The company was recruiting helicopter mechanics. Kept them flying, that's the, that's the motto. The contract through the Department of Defense took him to Vietnam. Well, I was always kind of adventurous. I said, I guess I'll go. It was quite the adventure. Five guys piled in this home away from home that they lovingly called the swamp, and their working conditions weren't much better. And that's a tent thing like we worked in back there. Baker says this was a busy place. The GIs, you know, they had them out flying every day and running around out in the boonies and you know, they didn't want to come home at night and work on helicopters, so that's what we were better basically for. He was on a Cobra gunship damage team. Shot up, replaced blades, whatever. They, some of them never came back, you know. The enemy was always after the choppers. They wanted to stop them helicopters that was hauling soldiers out to the field. And that's why it was a constant battle to keep them in the air. Some mornings you'd get up and go back out and the helicopter you'd been working on the day before would be damaged again with shrapnel from rockets. Crews work 10 hours a day, six days a week. Just repair the damage and get it back up to flying as soon as you could. Baker's contribution was key in the war effort. I've got my elbow leaning on a 20 millimeter Gatling gun. He also went on to give many decades to the aviation industry. His career spanned 50 years, but the history lessons he continues to share go back even further than that. I figure, boy, this will be something to, for somebody to see from now on. Baker says before he headed home from Vietnam, he shipped himself a ton of pictures, but they never made it. He says if any of you out there have photos you'd be willing to let him make copies of, especially those dealing with helicopters, he sure would love to have those. Also, if you would like to see that display of all the Army Division patches, you can do just that at the Chase County Historical Society Museum. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Mr. Jim Baker. Mr. Baker, thank you so much for your service in the United States Navy. You're welcome. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.